All right, so we've got another problem here. It's a mixture problem. And we're dealing with lots of variables. So I'm going to show how to use a table to deal with this problem. So first of all, let's read it. A jeweler has five rings, all right, each weighing 20 grams. All right, so I'm thinking there's five rings, 20 grams each. They've got 100 grams of weight here. And it's made of an alloy of a mixture of silver and gold, 10% silver, 90% gold. He decides to melt down the rings, okay, and then add silver. I'm going to underline that because I see silver popping up twice already. And to reduce the gold content, okay, with gold's popping up twice as well, to 70%. How much silver should he add? Well, my first instinct, I see silver a third time here, and it's also in the question, is to let X relate to our silver here. So I'm going to say, okay, X is something to do with silver. What makes the most sense? Okay, well, we're adding silver and grams, so let's say it equals the grams of silver that we add, All right? So um, take the rings, melt them down, add a bunch of silver to it. That's, the, that's what x is going to equal. So here, the categories aren't often easy to pick when you're, when you're setting up a table. So just try different things. So like, for example, here, uh, I'm going to have my first category be the rings that we're dealing with. So there, we're, we have rings. And there are five of them. And then I'm thinking, all right, well, what do we know about the rings? We know that we know their weight in grams. Well, their, their weight is 5 times 20, 5 times 20, which is 100 grams. Okay, so we've got something going on there. Now we've got a rate. Well, we've got a rate in terms of gold and silver. Well, um, I'm adding silver to change the gold, so let me focus on the gold rate here. The gold is 90%, right? So it's 0.9 uh, or 90%. And then the value, grams times the rate is the value, right? And that's just going to be, uh, of course, 90% of 100, which is going to be 90. That works out nicely. But I'm just going to set that up here because you know, you know we don't really ever know uh, the exact weights we'll be dealing with or percentages. It won't always be so nice. So I'm going to write this out so we can keep track of it. So that's for the rings. But then after we take all these rings and melt them down, we've got to add silver. So let's think about that next. So we have our pure silver. Okay. And um, how much do we add or how much do we have? We don't know. That's X. And we already defined the rate here. This is the gold rate. I'll write should have wrote gold here. Well, the rate of gold and pure silver is zero. There's nothing there. And the value will be zero times x. Now, when we mix these things together, the mixture, um, we think, OK, we got to combine the rings and the silver. So it's our 100 grams that we start with plus some amount of pure silver. And the rate we're trying to get is 70%, or 0 0.7. That's our goal, to go from 90 to 70%. So it's going to be 70% of what? Of our mixture, 100 plus x. So just notice we set the categories up, and then this bottom row, the values that form our equation, are always the products of the two categories above it. And now we have a really great equation, right? I think it's great at least. So we have our first part, 0 0.9 times 100. I'm going to write that out. Uh, so 90% of our weight and our rings plus some amount of zero percent this is going to cancel out but i'll put it there anyway because i want you to see well what if uh the silver wasn't pure what if it was a mixture of silver this coefficient zero would change to some percentage and this would still be useful and we know that we want to get it to equal 70 percent of 100 plus x and this is the equation we're trying to solve so we take 90 percent of 100 that's just 90. zero x is just zero and then over here we have 70 percent of 100 which is 70.7 times x which is 0.7 x so here we subtract 70 from both sides and we get 20 equals 0.7 x we divide by 0.7 now, 20 divided by 7 tenths is really 20 times 10 over 7. And that's 200 over 7 equals x. Now, 
What I encourage you to do is if you're working out this problem, plug it back in. Plug it back into your mixture and make sure your percents are working out. And you'll see in this case, if we do 100 plus, I'll just show you an example, because really checking students, you might want to avoid it, but I feel like in a mixture problem, it makes a lot of sense to plug back in. We've got 100 plus 200 over 7. Now, that's our mixture. We know that it, within that mixture, there should still be 90 grams of gold, 0.9 of the original amount. So the question here, we have 90 over 100 plus 200 over 7. What should this be? Well, this should get us a 70% rate of gold. So if we just pull this up here, right, let's see if that works. It might not. If it doesn't, that's okay. I make mistakes all the time. In fact, earlier I was just solving this problem, and I did make a mistake. When I plugged it in, I realized, oh, I'm not getting 70%. What's going on? So here we just set it up. Okay, looking great. Hit enter, and boom, there it is, 0.7 or 70%. So I suggest with these problems, setting up a table and an equation, getting an answer, and plugging it back in. And don't be intimidated by setting up the categories, right? Try different things until you get something that works. There's lots of ways. You don't have to make x equal to the grams of silver we add. You can make it um, something else and still reach the same solution. I just feel like here, the grams of silver added makes the most sense because that's the, what we're trying to find. Um, anyway, I hope this helped.